So now that you have all the information and now that you have those subjects, those questions, now you can actually have the conversation. Now that you've answered all those questions before you even walk into their office. But there's some things you need to think about. Energy, mood, motion, and you need to be aware of the enthusiasm drop. If you keep people entertained, they will listen. People will reward you for making them smile by listening to you. So if you can keep them happy and you can keep them interested, they'll listen to you. And usually that's half the battle. You just want them to listen. You don't want them to space out. You don't want them to fall asleep. You want them to listen. So lots of times, different inflections in your voice, moving around, gesturing, getting excited about what you're talking about, you're going to get them excited. They're not going to know why, but they're just excited. So you want to be aware of the enthusiasm drop, right? I walk in and I'm really, my energy's really low. And I'm saying, I get this great idea. It's a great idea. It's wonderful. It's going to change the world. Does that sound like something that's going to change the world? It doesn't. Not at all. If I'm talking like this, they're going to be down like this. They're going to be even more subdued. So you always have to try to figure out where you want them to be. How jazzed do you want them to be? And then you have to be more than that. But just be aware that if I want somebody's energy level at 80%, I have to be at 100%. If I want their energy at 100%, I have to be at 150%. I got to be more than the average person. I got to be more exciting than they can possibly imagine. There's some things you can learn from a good salesman. One of my favorite salesmen of all time is Billy Mays. OxyClean. I personally bought OxyClean because of this man. I watched one of his commercials and by the end of it, I always thought I need me some OxyClean. Because... He's energetic, he's over the top, he smiles, he seems to care about you. He says, have you ever had this happen? And it ruined your shirt? OxyClean's going to make your life better. I think, that has happened to me. And I would like my life to be better. Billy Mays gets me. All right, what else you got, Billy? And he believes in his product, right? He seems to really believe in what he's talking about. You're like, man. That's what usually gets you hooked. He's dancing around telling you about how awesome OxyClean is. And you're like, okay, why does this guy love OxyClean so much? And you start listening to him. And that's where he starts to hook you. So he references a, a product that you already know about, right? You ever spill grape soda on something? Ruined it? Then you add some bleach? Destroys your shirt even more? And you're like, yes, I have. And then he goes, well... With OxyClean, that won't happen. And he asks you a question. Are you happy? Would you like to be happier? And you're like, well, yeah, I would. I can help you with that. So, and the promise is that OxyClean is going to make your life better, right? The whole thing is ridiculous. But when you walk away, right, the idea is OxyClean is going to make your life better than it was yesterday. And who wouldn't want to have their life be better for $5? For $5, every single one of you would invest $5 to have a better day than you did yesterday. It's worth a gamble. A scratch ticket costs more than that sometimes, right? $5 and my life is going to be better. Laundry's going to make me happy. I'm not happy about laundry now, but apparently if I bought some OxyClean, I'm going to be happy every single day. He sells it and he sells it as like this life-changing event. And that's what everybody wants. Everybody just wants their life to be better. And that's what you're selling. When you sell a game, you're selling an idea that they're going to be happier than they were 10 minutes ago. When they play your game, that's going to make them happy. Their life is going to be improved. Nobody's going to buy your product if you're going to be like, buy my product, you'll feel like sh right? But if you say, buy my product, you're going to feel great. Trust me. Your life is going to be 10 times better than it was. Because that's what video games are. That's what every product is. That's why people buy things, because it makes their life better. So when you go to sell something, an idea, a product, whatever it is, what you're doing is you're selling the idea that your life is going to get better, no matter what that product is. 
It could be jelly beans. It could be OxyClean. It could be a video game. Your life is going to be better because of this product, because of this idea. You invest in this and your life is going to be better. 